What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Welcome to another Business with Thaddeus video on the Business Channel. It is cur it is literally currently 5 in the morning. It just turned 5 o'clock. I haven't slept yet guys and that's just like passion, passion bro, passion for what you do. But I want to talk about in this video guys, I'm going to upload in a fat minute but I actually am starting daily videos guys. Like, like daily videos are going to start and I, oh my gosh, the things I have planned for you guys. Like one, Instagram funnel series. Two, I'm starting Amazon guys. I actually already got into that and I'm going to like be showing you guys my journey and results and blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. That's the thing. Got these different projects coming up, the apps, all this kind of good stuff to help you guys out and provide like more value for you guys. Okay, because that, that's what we're doing. But in this video, guys, I want to talk about how to like stop losing potential customers, okay, and losing like these clients that, that you guys should be able to keep and then what you can do to prevent them from ditching and like all this kind of stuff and what you can do to actually close clients and stop people from leaving your site, stop people from just not going to your, or, like get people to your site, all this kind of stuff that should help you with your conversions, with just like keeping your audience base because you spend so much time trying to get traffic to your site, right, and you don't want to just blow it all with like just having people bounce, right, that, that's not what you want. So that's what we're gonna do in today video guys first things first I do want to give a shout out to to my boy Kendall he's actually passed thirteen thousand dollars in orders guys for the month and I think he's already done like a few thousand dollar plus days so congrats Kendall you're the man I'm actually got like I think I'm gonna put him on for an interview and a few other guys for an interview just so like everyone else can see and just learn from everyone else who's like having success and stuff but guys that's from the course and uh, if you are interested in the deal I did extend the course sale from the whole Cyber Monday stuff until I think for the next three days I don't even know but you guys can click the link if the link doesn't work that means it's expired and you lost your chance all right but click down below if you want the 65% off deal um, if that's of interest to you if not that's cool whatever we want but that's the video or that's not the video that's the uh, course plug and shout out to my boy Anthony with the results guys if you have results from the course shoot them to me and I'll shout you out okay so that's the that's the let's just get into the video all right sweet all right, well if you guys can't tell I'm actually at the gas station so that's why I wanted to film the video here just like while my car is filling up I can actually just go get gas and so that's what I'm about to do. It's quiet out here. Ooh, ooh, okay. I plugged in the gas. Hi. <laughs> He's waving, all right. I plugged in the, uh, the, the gas thing in here and we got the freaking premium ass gas. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go um, fucking record the video, hi. All right guys, so how, how do you stop losing potential customers? Okay, there's, there's two different things we can look at, okay? How do you stop losing customers? There's two types. You can lose potential customers, all right, people that you never got their money, you never convinced them um, emotionally or logically, whatever, you never convinced them to hand you their money, okay? You, you missed the opportunity, okay? And there's losing money on current customers where you can't get them back to your site because your brand, the appeal just wasn't there anymore or you just weren't of interest anymore or just something along the process deterred them from ever wanting to buy from you again. And th those are two problems that... that I'm here to help try and solve for you guys or like what you can do to um, prevent the the loss or the you know the attrition that happens from you know getting these like customers but not getting them to repeat or just getting this traffic and not getting them to convert and what you can do to stop that from happening. I want to talk about losing potential customers first because that's probably the most uh, the most popular one that like people are getting traffic they're not converting or people aren't getting traffic they don't know what to do they just aren't converting on their sites and they, they aren't doing a good job of keeping people on their site like their bounce rate is through the roof all this kind of stuff like what what can you do to prevent that? Okay, one, does your website like look like shit? Okay, I, I, I'm being dead ass, guys. Like, for real, a lot of people's sites just don't look good. Like, you, you, you look like a reseller of products, and that's not what you want, especially with dropshipping. Like, you are a reseller of products with dropshipping, but you don't want to give that vibe. Okay, you don't want that appeal uh, to, to, to come to the customer. Okay, you want to like appear as a brand, a quality, genuine, authentic, unique brand that has something of value to offer a customer. You don't want to be a reseller where they feel like, oh, I can find this anywhere else online and probably for cheaper or something like that, if, if, that's, if that's your value proposition. But like, that's the thing. You just don't want them to, you just don't. Don't want your website to look like bad where it just throws them off like that is rule number one like for me how i how i do my websites is one custom um like simple simple modern clean and visual okay i think visual is one of the most important aspects guys. especially with my funnel and like how i like teach you guys i'm of course always plug but like what i do is as i have an instagram funnel and instagram is such a visual platform guys i say this in like all my videos because i want you guys to get that in your head instagram is such a visual platform that you need to you need to adapt that methodology into your website you want your website to be super visual okay it's like it's like you send all that traffic from instagram which is so visual to a website that's mostly like words and stuff like that and that's not gonna work you're gonna have a super super high bounce rate because people are going there and it feels foreign to them okay they don't know what to do and just from that alone can throw off hundreds hundreds of conversions and your bounce rate is 
already through the roof with that, okay? Uh, number two, like, does your site load fast, okay? I know this is, like, a weird one, guys, but some some people's sites, depending on how many, like, apps you have installed in some apps, slow down sites, like, more because, like, certain pop-ups and stuff need to, like, load first. But, guys, you don't need, like, 25 apps on, on, your, on your websites, okay? All my websites had less than 10. Most of them had less than 8 or 7, okay, for the most part. Now, you don't need a lot of apps, and what that does is, one, slow you down, and two, it, it, it would probably make your website cluttered if you have that many apps, okay? But, like, does your site load fast, okay? Like, for, for instance, like, people are impatient, right? I'm sure you're impatient, you want, like, for me, I try and cut to the chase with my videos and just, like, start dropping information, okay? Because people are impatient, they're gonna leave my video if I'm not, like, talking about shit, okay? Now, that's the same thing applies to your website, okay? If it doesn't load fast, if, if you just can't, like, if they can't find what they're looking for right away, they're gonna leave, okay? They're gonna leave for a variety of reasons. One, if the site's slow as fuck. Two, if they can't find what they want, if the site looks bad, again, that goes back to the first reason. But guys, you're, like, your website is very, 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 very important. Third one, do you have exit intent apps? My battery's about to die. Fuck! Do you have exit intent apps, guys? I'm talking about, like, the privy email box, for instance. That one's the download link in description, but literally, those apps that, like, when a customer is moving their cursor on their desktop away to, like, about to leave your website, a pop-up pops up. That's where you can offer them a very, very, very large discount, okay? Don't, like, necessarily try to make a lot of profit with this discount, but you want to offer them something so that they're, like, they're, like, whoa! That's a lot, and I should enter my email in, okay? One, you got their data, now you can retarget and stuff like that. Two, you might have just got them to purchase something, okay? You get their email and their email, that discount code for however much it is, like 35, 40% if you can, okay? Um, stuff like that, 30%, okay? Literally, like, you just want something that's big enough that they're just like, oh, snap. I, oh, shit. Like, there's... That's a deal, okay? I want, I want, I want to get that deal, okay? So that's that's what you kind of want to do with the exit intent apps. It's like, you, it's like, it's like your last ditch effort to acquire a customer or acquire some sort of information from that customer, so they don't leave forever, and you can't do much to actually get them back besides other retargeting campaigns. But if you have their email, which is even better, you can use email retargeting, which, in my opinion, has a lot more uh, value and money to be garnered over the, like the long period of time um, in terms of like Facebook uh, retargeting, and whatnot. The next reason is you need to make your website personal, guys. Okay, and what they mean by that is like people don't buy they don't buy from from businesses and pages like website pages they buy from other people okay they buy from a feeling like they want to buy from someone they trust and th that's a person usually okay so you got to make your website feel like personal i'm not i'm not saying like use slang all the time like that that, that can work depending on your brand and whatnot but like you you want to just have it be like a personal website you don't want to seem like super foreign and and just out of place it's very kind of it's hard to explain this but i'm trying to like tell you guys like you need like people buy from people you need to get them to trust your 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 website and your page and how do you do that is by introducing you know the personal like like you're about it like what's your story for your brand again you want to give life to your brand guys you're not just a reseller or selling product that's not going to work it's not that simple as much as we all wish it was it's usually not that simple so you need like to give life to your brand and sometimes oftentimes that means you need like an about us or what's your story what's your motive and you don't want to like milk that guys because sometimes people just don't care but you need to have some part there that that kind of encompasses is the vibe of your brand okay so that it feels personal it feels unique it feels genuine it feels authentic which all in all helps in the funnel of everything that helps convert now the next one guys is having social proof whether that be on social media on your website with like the FOMO and other like pop-up apps that show that other people are on your site or Hurify again all these things are in the description but like you, you need social proof guys that, that helps build trust with other customers visiting your website okay and like whatever that is whether that is in the beginning of your funnel for driving traffic like in your Instagram page for instance do you have a lot of followers that kind of stuff is social proof like in the beginning of the funnel social proof on your website is having those pop-ups that say yo this guy just bought this product this guy just bought this product this guy just bought this product from over here like all that stuff builds social proof so that other webs uh, like other visitors on your site can hit your website and be like oh these guys just bought it I like it, it's safe to buy like they need to trust you guys they like uh, you're not gonna get sales if people don't trust you with their credit card information with their personal information with their personal hard-earned money Okay, you need to get people to trust you. All right, that was that was all about like potential customers Right, so people that you got to your website or you got to your to your Instagram page for instance Okay, and you just need to get them to convert or like try and help them convert now I want to talk about current customers So say you already got some people to purchase a product you already got some people to give you their credit card information their money Okay, what can you do to get more money from them? All right to increase